all work together and our capacities to do that. Now, what I'm going to do is shut up and let some of them, I don't know about it, just know, he take a while. He's <laughs> worse than a preacher. But we're going to go first. Do your 60 second elevator. Just 60 seconds. We're going to let Clarence go. I won't be here. I won't be long. Okay, it's not only just myself, it's uh, Doug Gaffner. He works down here. Oh, that's awesome. I forgot about you, man. Yeah, that's also a part of it. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and one of the things we do have, we have a program based, well, I should say a program, we have a team of about 20 consultants. And that ranges from IT to marketing and sales, uh, to cash flow management, to uh, uh, people that's going to help you with uh, running processes, business processes, things like that. So that's what the SPDC does, and it's all for free. This is free service that we need to provide. Now, myself, I'm working with our program. I'm one of the technical providers that uh, Dylan talked about. So, if any of you guys are interested, get with me out to me. I'd like to talk to you. I see a couple of my clients around here right now. Uh, I also do certification, what they're talking about. So, the WBE, the MBE, the BBE, I also work with that. But we have another guy, we actually have two other guys that work with the federal program as the DBE at PTAC offices. So those are very important. So if you're interested in that, get with me. And yeah. Terrence, we'll be sending, we're not mass emailing your emails out to the whole world, but everybody that is on this list will get your contact information as well. Exactly, we're sending our last email. So as Clarence mentioned, I've dug out here, I know this direction has several of you in this room. I'm here every Tuesday and Thursday working down at the conference room at the other end of the building, um, providing consultation, helping. I look at that I'm the generalist. You come to me. I help you understand what your needs are. I pull in the clearances, or we have a gentleman that knows QuickBooks. We know people that know all the different resources that we need. And we pull them in as we need to. We help you build a business plan. We don't write a business plan, but we help you and it helps you go along the path. Um, Phyllis and I have a great relationship as Jasmine and Lori in the office. Uh, they book my schedule, so I'm, I'm here, but feel free if you want to sit down for a few minutes with me and get started on something, we will be happy to do that. And read the comes with us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's my mascot, so. <laughs> Phil's won't let me come in. She looks and knows. Reba there? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to go last. Okay. Okay. I'm so happy to be here, everyone. Um, happy to be here. I'm not from the United States. Um, I'm a global citizen, is how I describe myself. And um, the path I took to come to Fort Myers was incredible for me. And I still, you know, I owe it to John Thomas and his team. Um, what I heard today about the vision for really creating the very diverse and inclusive um, businesses in Fort Myers is what resonates with the mission that I've, I've worked with for the past 20, 30 years of my life. And, I, and, and when I came to the United States, my family, my mother is here, my brother has lived here for 25 years, my kids are here. When I came here, one of the things that really peeved me was that we are getting money from philanthropy, US philanthropy, we get money from um, the World Bank, we get money from the um, US government, to do this stuff outside of the United States. But in our own back door, we are not empowering our small businesses, our local businesses who are giving their sweat, blood, and tears to this country for decades and centuries. And that's what really pleased me here. And I felt that when I met John, it was really you know, a gift from God in my walk to just come here. And then I met Nicole years ago as well. And then I got invited to sit on the Diversity and Inclusion Committee just as I was developing one for the World Bank in Africa, where we were working with multinational organizations and governments to actually create um, um, small women-owned businesses and small businesses to be able to become more inclusive in the supply chain. And some of the things that Dan said is exactly the same issues, and we have them back here at home, and we're dealing with millions and millions of dollars outside first, and we can't take care of our own household. So that was so I knew that my call call was to really be here, and coincidentally, so during COVID, I actually ended up registering my business in America as well, and I and I contacted.
the company, they actually put me in Fort Myers without me asking them to. And, and I, so that's why I say that I know I'm here for a reason. Mm -hmm. And on the Diversity and Inclusion Committee, I then met Lee, who spoke the language, same language as well, and I said, wow, this is amazing, and I heard Dan today. It is really, this is a need, and this is a place where I see the hearts of people who are networked coming together in a way I haven't seen it in a number of other counties, especially outside of Florida. So our mission within the Diversity and Inclusion um, Committee is to really make sure we're hearing from you. So, so Clarence is one of our main partners here, and he's going to be liaising with you. One of the things that, that and Nicole will speak as well, is we're trying to get more information <coughs> from you so we can come up with a cohesive strategy that will say, here are the skills that we actually need to actually impart to the businesses. Here are, they have 20 consultants, but they may need consultants that will help you pivot your business, align your business to the needs of the contractors, not just in public sector, but private sector. So the committee is also aiming to meet, meet the private sector companies. We did that in Kenya, we met 15 multinationals who then signed on, Coca-Cola, Unilever, all the big companies, car manufacturers, they signed on to be committed to actually creating smaller bite-sized contracts to be able to get the newer organizations, like Dan was saying, to the newer businesses, to be able to partner with the older businesses so they could actually develop you know, their, own, their own trail of um, you know, contracts and, and networks as well. So that's, I'll stop here, but I'm so happy to be here and hopefully I'll connect with you through, through um, Clarence and you'll get my email as well. Thank you. Sarah. I'll make it brief and quick. My name is Dr. Nicole King Smith. I'm the CEO and founder of NK Enterprise Consulting, but I also wear many hats as I run a training program for Lee County and have the pleasure of working very close with John Talmadge. And um, I stand before you actually as a recipient of a minority contract, not necessarily in this community. I've only been in this community for about 10 years, but in Tampa, when the Super Bowl came in Tampa, my first business of event planning. And I can tell you, it, I was a fish out of water. I didn't know what the heck I was doing. Um, but I can tell you, the people that are in this room and stand before you, I used the SBDC in Tampa. They were amazing. They helped guide me. And so I stand before you saying, the people in this room, um, I'm just a passionate to serve. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't until Lee Cares um, kicked off during COVID that helping John Talmadge and his team and really helped the community get money and businesses that I really opened my eyes outside of my many roles to see the need of this community and minority businesses. And so if I have the pleasure of connecting with a lot of you and then also being on the Horizon Council of Diversity to really help this initiative move forward. So it's so important and the fact that you have, you have everything you need right here in this room. I can't, I can't speak that enough and they're all telling you it costs you nothing and we know the biggest challenge for minority business owners is the fact that we work the business so much that sometimes we don't have time to utilize other things, but the resources are here, they're available to you, they're free, and everyone that's speaking to you today is passionate to serve you and see you succeed through our own success, but more importantly, we're selfless, so it's your success. So we're happy to be here, we're happy to help you, and let's, let's get that money, honey. Let's make it happen. Thank you. I uh, wanted to just piggyback off now what everyone has said. The Southwest Florida Enterprise Center is a hub. We will contain the information. We want to work like quarterbacks. If you all want to come to us to reach out to any of these people on the panel, you do so. We take the information and we want to send it to them. The only thing that we would ask is that you be specific about what you want or what you need. So when we transfer the information through this hub that you understand, that's not necessarily the way you have to go. We are offering that as a service because sometimes you'll forget a phone number, you'll forget a name. Call us. Before these people leave here today, we will have contact information that we can email you. If you want to know the topic that they spoke on, we're going to get that for you. The incubator program here at the Southwest Florida Enterprise is for the on-site and virtual uh, tenant partners. However, we do hold other events for the whole community, not necessarily just for City of Fort Myers. We want everyone to come because if we all work together toward the common goal, it helps everyone. And that is what we want to do. 
As far as your new businesses and your businesses grow, we are here to help you do that. And I don't believe that there is anyone in this room that doesn't like the word free. However, when we say the word free, we know there is nothing in this world totally free. The only thing that we ask is your investment of your time and your commitment in your own. So that when you ask for help, we are assisting. We do not enable. We do not do for you. But we are definitely here to assist. Thank you all so much. I think that was I guess the chicken about done settled now. <laughs> and, uh, some of us might be living for a couch or a recliner or something. <laughs> uh, but I, I really want to thank you all for coming. And I do hope this is not the last time I see you folks or hear from you. I always have the feeling that, that or the attitude that if if the kids in my community, in my neighborhood, see me strive and succeed, other than what they see on television, and don't run their life down trying to be a professional ball player, and they see this young man who has a fitness and wellness business, and they will know what he does because they see him every day going, coming home, coming from work, what he's doing, he's working out. And they see him successfully doing that and making in his life and succeeding and progressing. That's what inspires our young folks. It don't have anything to do with us old folks. We pretty much say. <laughs> but what inspires our community is what our kids see. If they don't see success, they don't know success. And what concerns me a lot of times is once we get to be successful, we decide to go be in the McKinney community with a wall and, and stuff like that. And the little children don't want, you know, you don't want to be around with kids running across your yard. You know, but all I'm saying is always be conscious and constant of the fact that somebody is always watching you. Always. Whether you're doing anything or not, that's the problem. You're not just working to feed your kids. You're working to build your community. And the kids that live around you, the one across the street, you think is not paying attention. That you see in the mall one day and they come tell you, hey, what you do? And you tell them what you say, I want to do what you do. I said, yeah. I said, keep doing what you're doing, honey, because you're in the right business. How many concessions is it? She worked, they were two little sisters, black girls, and working in the um, presso place. And that's what they looked upset to me. And I told them, I said, I said, you learn everything you can about this. And you let the people know in here, you want to be a manager, you want to go up in this business, and the next thing you know, you look up, you'll be owning and running them just like me. Now, I had no idea of what was going to happen, but that's what that kind of thing happens all the time. Now, not back then, but now. <laughs> so you have to be conscious. Don't just think you're out here by yourself trying to struggle and make it and ain't nobody paying attention. It's just you struggling. On. No, 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 no. Every time you ride down your street, every time you put in front of your house, your apartment, or whatever, you never know who's watching and who you're going to influence. And this young man right here, me, and these young folks behind me, I'm calling them all young because they pop up younger than me. <laughs> I don't know about my man on the air. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> but <laughs> our success, only somebody, I think someone says already, I can't remember who it was, but our success is only measured by yours. Period. John Tammy is my only homie. <laughs> and I, and I, now, you think I'm joking, but I'm for real. He's from the same town I was born in, in Alabama. Wow. Wow. He's the only person I know living that's from, that's from there. But he won't speak to me again after all this time. We've been poking and prodding him to do something like this. And he's done it. And we have no successes. Because he has people to answer to also. So, you got friends out there that's trying to start a business, that are starting a business. No one's trying to get it going, trying to figure out what to do. Don't just give it to yourself. Share it. 
Tell everybody, hey, those people out there that enterprise center, they're for real. You need to go out there and spend some time talking to them. But we'll help you if you can. And just like St. Philip, one of us said, <laughs> we ain't gonna carry you now. I'm not doing it. But I do everything I can to help you. And I got to talk to Mr. Tappet and tell him about this other part. I used to, but I only, I did not only advise and coach my businesses. I mentor and I carry them by casework. I also take them and sit in the office with them when they negotiate their contracts. I take them to the bank. How many of you got bankers? Bankers? No, I ain't scared of bank. <laughs> you got a banker. So if you're in a situation, you got somebody you call down there to make personally. They know you, you know them, you call them and say, hey, Tom, Mary, Sue, whatever. Y'all got that, raise your hand. Okay, let me ask you this. How many of y'all don't have that? Raise your hand. Okay. See, all those little details, those little things, we make sure you get, you do have a business. Because once you get a relationship with a banker, I mean a relationship. You know what that means? We went through that earlier. <laughs> it's a whole different attitude when you call them. Yeah. They go through process, steps, to try to help you get what you need. Because you have what? Well, don't say it like you're scared. What's that say? You have what? A relationship. That's right. <laughs> You do that with your insurance, you do that with your accounting business, your, your, your services, you do that with everything. You don't want to just know somebody to do something. No, you want a relationship. Because you want them to go above and beyond for you. Because guess what? If they call you, guess what you do? The same. And that's how it works. So I'm finna shut up for real, Dave. I know you're over there stretching. <laughs> but please, connect with all of us. You know the key ladies that really you need to talk to, like Tony, Dan Tony Becky, back there, hiding in the corner. And I don't see Jasmine. Jasmine, come out here, girl, and show your face. Thank you. That's Jasmine. That's Jasmine. And Jasmine, come out here. Okay. Oh, Julia. Girl, please, mine. Raise your hand, These are the key people. Now, some, most of it, my phone number is on the Facebook if you have that. And some of y'all know, you're going to call me and you ain't going to get no answer. <laughs> you're going to leave me a message and I ain't call you back. <laughs> but I'm telling you right now, don't do that. Call Julia or call Jasmine or call Becky. They'll get Because trust me, we all do a lot of different things. We don't just do this. But you'll find that as you get closer and get a relationship with who? Us. When you get a relationship with us, you're going to find out just exactly who we are and what we're doing. It ain't that simple. But we're going to put our time in to help you. Okay? God bless you. Any questions? We're going to probably get, yes, sir. The Broadway Center, does that address qualify for the 20 grand? Broadway Center address? The uh, Broadway B Way? Yeah, B Way Center. Yes. Yeah. Oh, except for. Oh. <laughs> 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 right, it's automatically qualified. Yeah, it's just automatic. <laughs> no, just kidding. Just kidding. Dave, Jamie and his team are partners with our us uh, also. So he and I have been partners and, and done some step up programs. Um, there's no pretending that um, it's hard. Right? It's hard, it's gritty. Um, and, and what Lee has not shared is how many times you get in the face and you've got to take it and ask for some more. <laughs> I'm a God man, I don't pay no attention. The only reason I have to test because I don't pay attention to it. If you go to some bin and put in Lee Corner, you probably see a half a dozen or more businesses up there and half of them ain't running. <laughs> I'm just being real with you. You don't win. Yeah. Don't, winners never win. And winners never what? Yeah. Hello, somebody. Right. That's the kind of attitude people you need to be around. Yeah. You don't need to be around nobody always moping and groping yeah. and ain't doing nothing. Talking about, I'm going to try tomorrow. <laughs> Guess what? Tomorrow, I'm going to get here. If your business is in here, it also qualifies. So the three census tracks here, it qualifies. 
um, along the east, uh, 82. There's buckets of areas where low to moderate income. Uh, Cape Coral 